for Gary. A very hard game tonight, and yeah. probably a draw was a fair result. Yeah, I think so. I thought that uh, you know we, we started brightly and uh, found ourselves one 0 to the good, and you know it relaxed us. We would like to think a little bit more, but you know all, all credit to Chelsea. I thought that uh, between uh, the last 15 minutes of the first half, uh, they made it very tough for us and deserved the equalised. And you know, and I think it was us who was hanging on at uh, the last, as I say, 10 or 15 minutes of the first half, and pleased to get in at one each. Uh, we had to change things around to start the second half tonight. We had uh, you know, one or two things not quite going our, our way, the way we wanted to go, of course. But, uh, you know, second half, I think we bossed it. There's no doubt about that. I thought we had four or five very, very good balls go across the area uh, from uh, Mosey Alamoa and Jack King couldn't quite get on the end of one. I think that Doyle is having there and Elvis on the line. And, you know, uh, we showed a lot of character in the second half. We had to dig deep because uh, the unbeaten record certainly at home was going to be tested because they haven't been beaten away from home and uh, we haven't been beaten at home. So I think everything uh, over the 90 minutes, uh, no complaints from me, as I say. Like, you know, um, all credit to Chelsea you know, and all credit to my lads because uh, we've had to work hard. We've had to work hard. We've had two very hard games on top of each other. Uh, as you look at the Dover game on Saturday and then you look tonight and I think that, you know, take nothing away from Chelsea but I think it showed a little bit but um, they're a good outfit, you know, they're a good outfit and all credit to them, they've come here tonight and uh, they've worked hard and deserved to go home with a point. So, you know, I'm, I'm pleased from uh, the point of view that, you know, we go into the game against Chelsea 11 points clear and, uh, you know, um, we remain in that position because we ain't got to go in there to the last game of the season and, you know, they're a dangerous outfit and they're going to be <clears throat> up there at the end. Glenn's got the boys working and they've been in a rich vein of form, as I say, like, you know, they won 6-1 uh, on Saturday. I know that Bromley only had 10 men, but, you know, you've still got to go and do the damage what they've done and the week before they played against uh, AFC Telford in the FA Cup from the conference and won 4-0. So, you know, they're, they're playing with a lot of confidence. So, like I say, if it's a situation at the end of the season, um, with uh, hopefully us winning it and Chelsea going up uh, through the playoffs, I'll be pleased from one living that way at Coulson to uh, here at Woking. But there's a lot of hard work to be done, there's no doubt about that. But I would say uh, they probably give us the hardest game we've had this season uh, tonight. Uh, there's no doubt about that. And I'd say all credit to them and everywhere for them. And you must have been pleased with the changes that you made in the second half because we certainly, I thought, looked a much better side. Um, Elvis Hammond held the ball up for us and, and Mark Ricketts perhaps gave us a bit more of a physical edge in midfield. Yeah, we had to make the changes. Some of respect to Jay Davis or uh, Paris Cannell, they've been absolutely brilliant. You know, but, you know, again, give credit to Chelsea. They forced us to make them changes tonight. Like, you know, all the best. Cheers, mate. mate. Uh, they made it hard for us tonight in every way form and uh, uh, that was a compliment because I think if we'd have stayed where we was tonight, uh, no disrespect, um, we could have seen us getting beat, but we've had to make good and big decisions, and we've done that. And as I say, but I'm, I'm happy. We, these, these players have done brilliant for us. Uh, it's a long way to go, of course, but you know we're up to 18 games now. 54 points played for, we've got 42 or 43. I don't know what it is. We've got that many at this stage, but the players have done brilliant, and we just got to keep going. And as I say, we've got to go there now Saturday in the FA Trophy. As you say, we've got to do it all again on Saturday. I mean, how seriously will you be taking the trophy, Gary? Uh, number one would always be the league. Uh, it didn't matter who we met or whoever we got in the uh, FA Trophy. Number one is the league for me. And it will always be that way. Uh, this club and me and Steve Thompson have come as to take the club back to the conference. No doubt about it. And we want to do it first season. You know, first full season. We want to take this club back to the conference. And that will always be number one priority. And of course, uh, we look at Saturday's game. We are, yes, we are approaching to win the game. It's going to be tough. We know that. And. We've got to go to Dartford on Tuesday as well, so uh, that's a league game. So we have to look at uh, the fixtures, what we got and how we are and how we handle them. But um, I'll look at the situation and uh, have a chat, me and Steve Thompson, over the next uh, two or three days. And we'll pick a team which uh, we feel can go and get the right result. Lovely, thanks very much, Gary. Cheers.